scalar and vector triple products. Now let there be three vectors A, B and C. We write them in order and try to place a dot or a cross in between them like this. Now the dot and cross operation cannot be done simultaneously. So we put parenthesis to indicate which operation to be done first like this. Therefore we get eight possible combinations of triple products. Out of them the underlined ones are meaningless because dot and cross operation need two vectors to be meaningful. Watch carefully that the underlined ones has a dot product within parenthesis which is a scalar and we cannot do any operation with a scalar so we eliminate them. Out of the remaining four the first two are called scalar triple product because the result is a scalar quantity. These scalar triple product are sometimes called box product and may be written like this. The remaining two are called vector triple product because the result is a vector. Geometrical interpretation of scalar triple product. Let A, B and C be three non-coplanar vectors. Now we know that B cross C is a vector which is perpendicular to the plane of B and C in a direction following the right hand rule. The magnitude of this vector is the area of the parallelogram formed by B and C. Now let the angle between vector B cross C and vector A be phi. The dot product of these two vectors is the magnitude of B cross C multiplied by the projection of vector A on vector B cross C which is mod A cos phi. Now this mod A cos phi is the height of the parallelopipede. So it can be said that the scalar triple product is the volume of the parallelopipede whose coterminous edges are vector A, B and C. Scalar triple product in terms of components. Let A equals A1i plus A2j plus A3k and B equals B1i plus B2j plus B3k and C equals C1i plus C2j plus C3k. Then the scalar triple product is given by this determinant. This can easily be proved like this. In fact, it can be said that if the scalar triple product is zero, then the three vectors are coplanar. Properties of scalar triple product. Property one. Here the operators that is dot and cross is interchanged. The scalar triple product remain unchanged. This can easily be proved. Look at this model prepared in 3D modeling software. The green arrow is vector A, red arrow is vector B and blue arrow is vector C. Now in A dot B cross C, the three vectors form what is called a right-handed system where vector A lies above the plane containing B and C suggested by the right hand thumb if we curl the fingers of the right hand from B to C. Now I am rotating the model of vectors like this by performing a simple animation. We see that A cross B dot C also form a right-handed system and its magnitude is the volume of the same parallelopipede. Property 2. Swapping of any two operands negates the triple product. Thus ABC equal to minus ACB equal to minus BAC equal to minus CBA. Here BC has been interchanged, here AB has been interchanged and here AC has been interchanged. This one is understandable as per cross product commutivity rules. The next two can be proved by taking into consideration the first property. Property 3. If three vectors A, B and C are circularly shifted, the scalar triple product remain unchanged. See this one. We rotate this and get this. The triple product remain unchanged. We rotate this one and get this. The triple product again remain unchanged. This may be easily proved by the fact that a circular shift has been actually realized by swapping two vectors twice. Thus, double negation makes the triple product unchanged. Also, we may prove this alternatively. All the combinations form a right-handed system and triple product is the volume of the same parallelopipede. 
I will take help of the same 3D model shown previously to explain my point. This one is A dot B cross C. Here B C A form a right handed system and the triple product is the volume of this parallel pipe. Now rotate the model like this by simple animation. We get B dot C cross A. Here C A B form a right handed system and triple product is the volume of the same parallel pipe. Now we again rotate the model. We get C dot A cross B. Here A, B, C form a right handed system and the triple product is the volume of the same parallel pipe. Property 4. Scalar multiplication property is like this where lambda belong to a set of real numbers. This can be proved easily as we know by now the scalar multiplication property of dot product and cross product. Property 5. If any two vectors of the triple product are same, then the scalar triple product is zero. This can be interpreted easily because any two same vectors cross product is zero. And also if these two vectors are equal, then the cross product of these unequal vectors is bound to be perpendicular to the vector with whom dot operation is going to be performed. And we know that dot product of two perpendicular vectors is zero. Property 6. If a vector u equal to u1a plus u2b plus u3c, vector v equal to v1a plus v2b plus v3c and vector w equal to w1a plus w2b plus w3c, where a, b and c are non-coplanar vectors, then scalar triple product uvw is given by this determinant multiplied by the scalar triple product a, b, c. This may be easily proved by properties that we have already learned. Property 7. For any four vectors A, B, C and D, we have triple product of A plus B, C, D is equal to triple product of A, C, D plus triple product of B, C, D. This can be easily proved like this. Proof of distributivity of cross product over vector addition. Let R equal to A cross B plus C minus A cross B minus A cross C. Let D be a non-zero vector which is not perpendicular with vector R. Therefore, D dot R is this. Now we interchange the dot and cross operators here. We get D dot R is zero. This implies R equal to 0 as D is non-zero and is not perpendicular with R. In this manner, we prove the distributivity of cross product over vector addition. Vector triple product. Here A cross B cross C within parenthesis is the vector triple product and which is equal to A dot C B minus A dot B C. To prove this, we write the vectors in component form. The proof is a little bit lengthy. Of course, it is not always necessary to remember this long proof. However, it is important to remember this formula. From this, we get A cross B within parenthesis. Cross C is equal to A dot C B minus B dot C A. Now these triple products lead to two important formula. First one is triple product of A plus B, B plus C, C plus A which is equal to two triple product of A, B, C and the second one is triple product of A cross B, B cross C, C cross A which is equal to triple product of A, B, C whole square. These formula are very useful for solving problems and may be proved like this.